Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric, and welcome to another Magic the Gathering opening video. This time, a Battle for Zendikar booster box. This is going to be actually uh, really fun, because this is actually the uh, first booster box video on the uh, channel. My knife will not... Oh, there it is. Just gotta... Open it up a little bit. <sighs> Perfect. All right. All right. So this set came out uh, last year, beginning of this year. Honestly, I don't fully remember. But a booster box for those of you that don't know comes with 36 packs, 15 cards each. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. Get those out of my way. So, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of tear into it. My main goal is trying to get Omnixilis, Gideon, uh, Kyora, and. Mixilis, Gideon, Kiora, and, um, and uh, Ulamog. Okay, so we have Catacomb Sifter, Pathway Arrows, Ulamog's Nullifier, and Zodahedron Grinder. Nice way to kind of start it off. For a, for a nice, uh, for a nice rare. kind of playing in the background, just kind of add some ambiance, so, at least a little bit of one. <laughs> okay, so we have, oh, I see that my rare is an ally in camera, we have File Aggregate, Deathless Behemoth, Halamar Tide Caller, and Ally Camera with a Foil, Callistra, Nightwatch, ooh, so we got a nice, nice foil, ally encampment. Good for ally decks. This is sorely built kind of around allies, Eldrazi's, and things like that. No wastes. That's not until, uh, Gatewatch. We get full art lands, so. Oh, I got a foil. I got a foil something. It's a foil rare, and I got a mythic. So, Mercer Ranger? Mirasa Ranger, my bad. Drawn as Emissary, Carrier Thrall, and... Ooh, Omnath Locus of Rage with a Foil Dust Stalker. It's a rare. Nice! It's good. Good, good, good. So we'll have uh, Foils here. Those here. Uh... You can't see it, but up around over... Over there. We've got our piles set up, so... So let's just press through. No breaks. Let's just stray forward. So we already got Mythic, and we're on the fourth pack now. Retreat to Kazandu, Ketacomb Sifter, Adverse Conditions, and Shambling Vent with Uplanes. So, no foil this time around, but Shambling Vent is a nice, uh, it's a pretty good uh, land. Hoping I hit my four requests at the end, of, or at least before the end of this, so because I know this will have very good value to it. So, um, Unified Front, Marasa Ranger, Blighted Cataract, and Smoldering Marsh. It's not bad. Smoldering Marsh is actually a pretty good one. Worth a little bit too, if I'm correct. Worth a little bit of money. Managed to sell off a lot of my cards today, so that's how I was able to get this. Um, okay. So, 
I think I might have saw a foil, I don't know. There's a foil. It's a foil common. So, Plate of Crusher, Crumble to Dust, Ruination Guide, and Beast Caller Savant with a foil of Shadow Glider. Not bad. It's a 2-2 two, two for 3. Flying Core Soldier. Meh. Plate of Crusher's a really good one. Hexproof Trample. 7-6. So, not a bad start so far. I mean, we got a lot of packs to go through, so. Son of a bitch. There we go. Uh, Resolute Blade Master, very good. Alley Rally, uh, Double Strike. Stonewalker, Spawning Bed, and March from the Tomb. I've never actually seen this card. One white, one black, three other, returning number target alley creatures, took a minute, we're gonna cast eight or less. Two. Wow, that'd be really good from, for an ally deck. Oh my god. Pass that one off to a friend of mine who runs an ally deck. You know, pack you and I are going to have this war. There we go. I think I felt a foil on this one. You can usually tell when they're a little bit thicker. Uh, we already got a huge pile of commons. Telling Jobeed. Skitter skin. Oh, that is festering ugly. Molt Nursery and Prairie Stream. With an elemental cat. Or at least it looks like an elemental cat. So we've got three lands that are. Eh. It's not bad. I think I know some people that are looking for cards like this. Gideon Jura. Definitely want to get a Gideon from this. Okay, so we have Jonas Emissary, Retreat to Velikoch, and Oblivion Sower. Yes, that's a good one. Oblivion Sower is a very good Eldrazi card. I should know a friend of mine that I'm going to be doing a joint channel with. Uh, he runs two of those in his deck. He's got a green, mono green Eldrazi deck, so. Though they're devoid and colorless, so I don't know if you want to and whatever, you know what I mean. Player Crusher, Spawning Bed, Blade and Balagad, and Lantern Scout. Sweet! That's the first one Lantern Scout I've ever gotten. So this is actually turning out to be a decent pull so far. Two Mythics. On Math and Oblivion Silver. Want to get that Ulamog, though. Or one of the. And I got Brutal Expulsion. Oof. Uh, along with Zolaport, Cutthroat, Royals Retribution, Ulamog's Reclaimer. Man. That's really freaking brutal. Nothing against the Eldrazi. I mean, they're. They're not the nicest things in the world. There are nicer things, trust me. This makes Liliana look nice. Ooh, the other thing I forgot to mention that I want to get from this expedition. Serene Stewart, Malachi Familiar, Rumination Guide, and Radiant Flames. Okay. Ooh, and a Gideon Emblem. Sweet! So we'll set that over there. That's really nice. I could give that to a friend. Another friend that I... The same friend that runs the Ally deck. Not the Eldrazi. Give him a friend. Shambler, Forerunner of Slaughter, Blighted Woodland, and Smoldering, uh, Smothering Abomination. It's the first time I think I've ever seen that. That's creepy. Festering Ugly. Uh, 
let's skip past all those comments. We don't need to worry about them. They're nothing. Skyrider Elf, Rita Miria, Damping Pulse, and Scared to the Winds. Interesting. Ooh, it's a counter. Counter for three? And with Awaken three? No, Awaken six. That's not bad. I can put that in my red blue. If I wanted to. I haven't fully decided yet. Okay, so. Going through all this. Oh, no, I didn't want to add those. Crap. There we go. Let's put them on top of my pile of, uh. Comments. Okay, so I see turning against Sylvan Scrying, Slab Hammer, ooh, and Desolation Twin. A very common rare. Yeah, I'm amazed I haven't pulled a couple other of the common rares that are of this set. A giant praying mantis. Because that's what we need, it's what the world wants. Don't you know? I'm sure as I'm talking to myself, no. Uh, I'm a sharpshooter. That's new. Breaker of Army. So I got a foil on this one. Retreat to Velikut and a Maria Shepherd with the foil Velikut Predator. I gotta make another pile. Oh my god! That just tells you how many we've gone through already. So some of these are. Not bad. Some of these are pretty good. Need a magic? No. Been playing magic for a little over two years now. Void attendant? Creepy. Hedron Archive? Okay. Play Sif? Okay. And Defiant Bloodlord. It's garbage card. It'd be awesome if I somehow pulled all the mythics of this set. Wait, that required me to get the planeswalkers. And on the Never mind. As long as I finish this with at least one planeswalker or, or Ulamog, I'll be fine. I don't care. If I don't, this might have just been a giant bust. So we'll find out. Stasis Snare, Unless Reclaimer, Hedron Archive, and Run a Liberator Malakir. Okay. Not as much of a bust as I thought. It's a vampire. Uh, vampire Ally. Mythic 2. 2-3. Two, three, for 3. So it's got Flying First Strike, so... Hmm. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Another Resolute Blade Master. Hero Gomafada is the rare. Okay. Rally Indestructible. Uh, processor. Processor Assault. Uh. Where's the Blade Master and Gomafada? So, not too bad. Really hoping this isn't going to be a giant bust. I'm going to be really sad. From Stonewalker, Grip of Desolation, Hedron Archive, and Veteran War Leader. Ooh, with a foil infused the elements. Let's make another foil. That's something. Veteran War Leader is kind of another common. But I have got no double duplicate uh, rares yet, so. We're getting somewhere. I don't know how to open up a pack of cards here. I'm done as shit. Chasm Guide, Rally Haste. Under Patrol, Blood of Fan, and Canopy Vista. Ooh. That's all for the rare lands. What's that? I have to look it up. But I'm not going to do that now. 
Because I'm with you guys. That would also be very, very rude. Raising my asthma, expression, envoy, royal spout, and feel it our sovereign. Sweet! That's a really fun card. Uh, if you have more than 40 life, and he's on the field at the beginning of keep, if you have more than 40 life, you win. I actually recently, with a couple friends, did a two-headed giant match, and we, uh, I ended up having my Philidor Sovereign that's in my mono white deck be a 40-42. Which is really destructive. Okay, it wasn't really destructive, but you get the premise. Void Tendent, Munition Guide, and Munda Ambush Leader. It's the first Munda I've ever obtained. Very good ally. Uh, look at top, top four reveal ally cards among them. Put them on top. The rest on the bottom if you don't have any allies. <laughs> good card, actually. I'm really not going to question it. Processor Zone, Grip of Isolation, Encircling Fisher, and Sunken Hollow. Now I think I actually have all the lands. Maybe. Not too terribly sure. I don't know what all the lands are on this set. So I've only got one emblem, but no sign of any of the four cards that I friggin' want. Undo Rising, Tiju War Card, that, and Void Winnower. Sweet, Void Winnower is another good mythic. It's the second Void Winnower I've pulled out of this set. Not out of this, but you know what I mean. So far, we I think we've almost got like all the rares and everything. Maybe not. This is a 274 card set. Tangler's adverse conditions, Jediasha, and from beyond with a foil skyline cascade. Cool. Foil land, uh, tap. Uh, when it comes in, tap an untapped creature as an untap. Turn its controller's next untap step. I think I run one of those in my mono blue mill deck. Start run low on packs too. Miasma, Horrible Rai, Pokemon's Eye, and Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. First time I ever got one of those. Good old Drazi kind of thing. Okay, how many packs do we have left? Three, six, nine left. Oof. Nine packs left. Rising, Olamog Zolfire, Titan's Presence, and Drowner of Hope. Blue Well Drowsy, that's the first time I've ever gotten one on this time. Alright. Like by Woodland, the Monster Spoiler, and Aligned Hedron Network with a foil shear drop. With the Kiora emblem. Cool, but that doesn't help me if I don't have a fucking card to play it. So, foil shear drop is nice. Destroy type cap creature and Aligned Hedron Network. That's the first time I've ever gotten one of them. I was about to say, I was reaching, in for the, reaching into the box to get a pack, but I was like, oh wait, no, they're already, already sitting right in front of me. I'm not smart. Not by a long shot. 
Come on, give me something good. Angel Renewal. Remember Death of Behemoth and Bring to Light. Dragon token, so I'm really not gonna complain. I think I could fit one more card on that pile. For him to start a third. Which you guys won't be able to see, which makes me really sad. Let's move the two emblems off to the side. Kinda move the foils over just a little. So how does everybody like the uh, new set Shadows of Rangedra? To be honest, I'm not too terribly interested in it, but my interest was kind of spurred when I opened my first pack of it. Got me a... Uh... Yeah, it's creepy. Uh, got me the new Jace. So, I'm really happy that's kind of spurred to renewal in... That's a uh, Brew Monitor, Retreat to Hagra, Tide Drifter, and Dust Stalker. So, do we have a first. We do not have our first copy yet. I'm surprised. I'm, I haven't gotten a duplicate yet. My packs are left. Five left. Alright. Let's just keep pressing on. Come on, give me something. Give me something that I actually want. Bloodbound Vampire, Corn Tanglers, Return to Corn and Gideon Ally is Endicar. Yes! <sighs> Thank God I got at least one of them. Sweet. Awesome. Gideon and his emblem get to sit right up here in beautiful view. Watch these last packs hold everything that I want. Should be four cards. See, Scythe Leopard, Grimmond of Druids, Blade Step, and Yugen's Insight. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We still got three packs. Down to the last three, everyone. Vampire, Serene Steamer, Bane of Alagad, and Angelic Captain. Okay. So odds are I'm probably not going to get one of the all of them. There's only two packs left. Semi-final pack, guys. Oh, no log. My desperation on this is no log. It's my desperation attempt to get my first Eldrazi Titan that isn't causal like that I didn't trade for. And I see Fathom Feeder. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Last pack. Last one. <laughs> Alright. Come on, give me something, give me something. Blink Thunder, Turn Ghost of the Mind, Infuse the Elements, and... Ornery Phydra. With a foil Hagra Sharpshooter. So he's got foil out of the end of that. So, really not going to complain. It's a decent looking foil. Well, that's... That's everything. Got one of the four cards that I wanted to get, so that's really the kind of plus here. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And uh, this is Eric signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, everyone.